Germans World TV here back with another video. Today I'm gonna talk about Roku. Roku is an American publicly traded company based in San Jose, California, that manufactures a variety of digital media players for video streaming. Roku has an advertising business and also licenses hardware and software to other companies. This is the stock. As you can see, it was it didn't move much for a certain amount of time, but then it started going up and to its peak and has recently gone down. They have streaming devices such as this one and there is competition which I'll talk about later. There's TVs that also come with Roku built in. They have a Roku channel which this is how it looks like right here. Roku has put increasing focus on the success of the Roku channel and its investor updates. Uh, viewers have more than doubled in each of the last two quarters and grew about twice as fast as Roku's overall user base. The service now reaches households of approximately 63 million viewers. Because Roku monetizes every each piece of content directly with advertisement, it knows approximately how many people it needs to convince to, to watch a series in order to break even on its cost. The Roku channel is the front and center of Roku's Advertising business, Roku controls all, all of the ad inventory and the streaming service, even for content and licenses from other media companies on a revenue share basis. The company is making moves to expand well beyond its platform and its own streaming service, including linear TV ads and other digital advertisement across the internet and other devices. But Roku has a much better understanding of its audience on the Roku channel than any other apps or platforms, making its ads more attractive and more viable to marketers. What do I think of the stock? I am neutral on the stock even though uh, I'm going to show you the revenue numbers uh, right now. So these are the revenue numbers and as you can see it is showing an uptrend. But I'm neutral on the stock. Uh, even though uh, Re Roku's revenue is increasing, they, ha they have not made a profit. They didn't make one quarter uh, profit so they are in growth mode which is what I like. I like these com companies that do this that are in basic expansion mode but I'm still neutral because of things that I'm going to talk about later. I also want to mention that Roku is uh, in an the, in the ETF called ARK which is a very popular ETF and it is ARK's fourth largest holding Roku. Roku uh, like I said they have the the streaming they have the streaming um, media players, but they also have Roku integrated onto TVs themselves. But Roku does not sell televisions. So when it comes to the Roku media player, there is definitely competition. It shows co it shows a competitor that's Comcast, Hulu, Real Networks, Amazon Fire TV, Nvidia Shield, Apple TV. Plus, Humex, Skyworth, Roku, they still sell media players, but they're actually um, inferior to these uh, options. And so in theory, they, they will lose business to these competitors. But the reason it has continued to go up, or at least that's the story, is because of their ads business. Their ads business basically when a TV has Roku built in, if people use Roku and use and uh, within Roku there's apps or there's also uh, video, they get money from from people using Roku and getting ads. But the the big the big takeaway though is Roku does not own TV manufacturers, so they basically have to partner with TV manufacturers. In order to get Roku onto the integrated onto their um, the other com the other manufacturer's TV, the good thing is there's the TV manufacturer are usually not interested in creating their own um, app or for the TV, but I'm I, I'm pretty sure it will change. Also on for the media devices, Roku has to in order for Roku to appear Roku the app for Roku to appear onto like let's say Amazon Fire TV they have to partner with Amazon Fire TV 
and Amazon Fire TV, Amazon controls all the shots, and and when it comes to that, they can decide not to give to not to make any kind of deal and not even have Roku on there. But the Roku must have offered a decent amount for them to be put onto it, and there's some limitation which I'll talk about right now. Roku just partnered with its biggest competitor. Roku is expanding its ad-supported streaming service, Roku Channel, to more devices this year. As a more recent addition includes Amazon's Fire TV devices. Amazon is Roku's biggest competitor and it's in the Connect TV space, so the two companies make strange bedfellows. But Roku has good reasons to get a streaming service on Fire TV devices anywhere else consumers are watching video content. The Roku Channel on Fire TV looks similar to the service on Roku's own devices. The main difference is you can't buy or watch premium subscriptions through the Roku uh, channel on Fire TV. Amazon wants to keep that premium service revenue for itself. So Roku, Roku has absolutely, does not have no power basically. They're able to control the Roku media player for the people that buy it. But consumers will always gravitate towards the bigger player or the better service. If you want the better the better uh, service, aka with the most apps, you probably get the Amazon Fire TV. If you want the strongest media player that's able to play higher higher resolution, 4K, um, higher bit rate, is you get the Nvidia Shield. So in the end, consumers will decide which media player they want. I think Roku already knows that they're already losing in the media player space. So basically, they're um, they're putting their effort into the Roku channel. And in order to, for the people to see the Roku channel, they have to basically put the Roku app on TV manufacturers. And for now, TV manufacturers have, been, have not bothered to set up their own uh, av uh, app with advertising business. At least not until Vizio is the best known for bargaining TVs, but want IPO investors to focus on its high growth ads business instead. So Vizio is one of those... Uh, TV manufacturers that they, they basically sell discounted LG slash Samsung uh, displays at a, a bargain price. I, I had a Vizio myself. They worked. I'm not sure if I have. I still have a Vizio. I actually I do have a Vizio TV. Vizio. If you were to invest in Vizio, because it's gonna IPO probably next week. If you focus only on their TVs, then you probably you would say it's a bad investment. But Vizio actually is going is going against Roku, and they made their own service called uh, SmartCast app within their TVs. Vizio they sell bargain TVs, and uh, they they they're they're in a position to basically go against Roku because not only they own the the the, tele, the, the TV itself. Roku has to partner with other TV manufacturers. And what happens when the TV manufacturers realize that they've been leaving money on the table, that they could basically start their own service as well. For now, they're playing the game and, and, uh, and basically uh, accepting whatever uh, payment Roku gives them. So that way, the Roku app is on their TVs, but eventually the TV manufacturers will get greedy and realize that they could they could basically make money off whatever Roku is is currently doing. Here are the TV models that have Roku. So these are the brands TLC, I mean T, TCL, Insignia, Sharp, Hisense, Hitachi, RCA, Philips, Element, J, JVC. You notice how Vizio is not on here. So basically, uh, Roku, Roku ha is depending on these TV manufacturers. If these TV manufacturers flip the switch on them, then their whole ads business will start to collapse. And that is why I am neutral. I'm neutral because even though I understand that revenue is going up, they're in high growth mode. It did, the stock did go down recently, but that, that could be attributed to the, the tech uh, downturn. But in the end, this company has absolutely no power 
and they could be their ads business and whole can be flipped like a, like that. All all it takes is for the TV manufacturers to one day wake up, realize that they can make more money via their their uh, their uh, TVs. Roku could decide, could try to offset this by giving these TV manufacturers more money, but uh, in the end, uh, I, I see like more money, more costs. Eventually, Roku will, will uh, it's a scum. So I don't know. I'm neutral. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.